Okay, so this should be recording if I've figured things out. Uh, my old software stopped working. So I'm, I'm hoping this is going to work. I'm going to make this really short because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing it and then it doesn't work. Um, so I'm just kind of crossing my fingers here. Okay, you guys. So this is chapter five, section six of the fifth grade in vision math. And um, um, we're just going to jump right into it. This is page 203. Um, a lot of the examples they gave were using uh, 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 place value blocks and models. Um, and sometimes I think, I, I don't know, I, sometimes I think it's, it's more hindrance, more of a hindrance than a help. Uh, so for number one here, you can, uh, you can do number one. Uh, you don't have to use place value blocks. So I'm not worried about that. Let's just look at number two here, for example. Um, so I'll do number two with you guys and we've been going over division. A lot of you have really struggled with division uh, 4,632 and it's being divided by 15, okay? So does 15 go into 4? It does not. Does 15 go into 46? It sure does. Well, what's 15 times 3? That's going to be 45. So I'll put the 3 up here and I'm going to put the 45 right there. So notice something right away. I, I, I've pointed this out before and I'm gonna keep doing it here. What's three times 15? That's 45. So um, the first number we put up there is three and we subtract that. And, and notice where I put the three. I didn't move it all the way over to the left and it's not all the way over to the right it's right above the 6 because we're looking at 46 so anyways 45 from 46 there's one left over now what do we do well we bring down the 3 does 15 go into 13 it does not so you can't just ignore it and then pull down the 2 you need to put a 0 there and, and so 15 doesn't go into 13, so you'd put a zero up there. Now you bring down the two. Does 15 go into 132? Um, it does. Well, how many times? Um, one way to look at it is, what's 15 times 10 equal? Well, we just add a zero, that's 150. 150 is too big. Um, if we subtracted 15, that would be 135. If I subtracted 15 from that, that'd be 135. That's still too big. That's bigger than 132. Uh, we're trying to target uh, the number that would be, you know, uh, it would go in evenly or there'd be a little bit of a remainder. So I'm going to have to subtract another 15. So 135 subtracting 15 is 120. So it looks like it's going to be 120. And I'm going to subtract that. Um, well, this was 10 times. And then I subtracted 15. And then I subtracted another 15. So that's going to be 8 times. So, um, and then subtract the 120. What's left over? A 2 and a 1. So there's a remainder of 12. A remainder of 12. So the answer to number 2 is 308 remainder 12. So that one's done for you. Most of these problems that I'm going to give you guys uh, have remainders. I'm looking at the book here. Uh, only one doesn't and that looks like it's number nine. Number nine does not have a remainder. Um, let me do uh, let me do um, Oh, how about number how about number 10 let me move this up a little bit so I'm looking at number 10 right now I'm gonna do one more for you guys um, and actually since I'll probably have you guys watch this during class and then I can just randomly pick some that I want you guys to do how about number 10 everybody do number 10 right now and I'll just pause the video and um, and we'll see if you're right. 
Okay, so number 10, this is the one that I'm doing. So it's 46 into uh, 875, is that what it was? Okay. How many times does 46 go into 87? Well, does it go in twice? 46 and 46, that's 12, carry the one. Uh, let's see here, and I'm not multiplying, <laughs> I was starting to multiply there. And then nine, so it's 92, it's gonna be too big, so it only goes in once. So we're there, then we're gonna subtract the 46 from 87. And that's gonna be one left over there and four there. Now we need to bring down the five, 415. Um, let me see here. Uh, 46 times 10 is 460 would be too big. So it's probably gonna be nine times. So let me do that, 46 times nine. Because if I did 46 times 10, that's gonna be 460. And you can't subtract that from 415 because it's bigger than 415. So uh, what's nine times six? That's 54. I'm gonna put down the four and I'm gonna carry the five. What's nine times four? Um, of course, it would help if you guys had your multiplication table out. Well, nine times three is 27. That's four is 36. Um, plus five is 41. And so that's gonna be, wow, really close, 414. And I'm subtracting that, that's gonna be one, and that went in uh, nine times. And so the answer to number 10 is 19, remainder one. Okay, um, let me see here. Um, let's just do number three. Look at 13, the Booster Club picked uh, 1,370 apples. They plan to sell bags of apples, 15 on each bag. So it's going to be 1,370 divided by 15 equals. Mason, look at that. Mason, we know somebody named Mason, teaches ice skating. A talent we didn't know that he had. He earns $24.50 per lesson. How much does he earn in five days? Oh, if he gives six lessons per day. So here's what you're going to do. Oh, you know what? Let's just see if anybody can figure that one out. Um, I'll pause the video and see if anybody can get it. Um, so number 14, it's uh, 24... 50 um, per lesson. So that's going to be times six. All right. And then um, because he gives six lessons a day and then whatever that answer ends up being, you multiply that by five. All right. And uh, that would be your answer. Um, so, yeah, I gave you a little bit of help there. I'll see if anybody can figure that out. And so number, um, well, what was that? That was number, number 14. Uh, if anybody got it, um, you should have gotten $735. Okay. Um, 16. I want to know who's right. Is it Amelia or Ben? Um, and then number 17. Estimate the quotient to the nearest hundredth. Explain how you found the estimate. Um to the nearest hundredth. So we're talking about 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, that sort of thing. So just divide that. And then um, I'm gonna end this video here pretty quick.
and then find number 18 you can do that 5092 divided by 38 okay so that's it I'm gonna end this video I hope this worked